How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Taival Outdoors. A quick update video today about my winter sleeping pad situation. So, as you might recall, in my last video I was sleeping down there in a snow trench in minus 20 degrees and I had a bit of a equipment failure where my four and a half year old expert sleeping pad finally gave up on me. A few of the air channels in it broke and merged into big air channel right in the middle. Wasn't a pretty sight but I made through the night. Didn't bother me that much and I thought that because the sleeping mat was already almost five years old that it wouldn't have any kind of warranty or anything like that left. But turns out I was wrong thanks to those viewers who said that hey I should get that warranty situation checked from Expert and indeed Expert has a five year warranty <laughs> system. So long story short I contacted Scandinavian Outdoor where I bought the pad originally and uh, they couldn't provide exact same pad but they instead refunded the whole thing. Unfortunately I had had a really good deal for the pad back in the day so I got it for 140 or 50 euros and for that money there wasn't anything like that available. Not in their store, but not in anywhere else. And I did quite a bit of research trying to find what would be the best inflatable sleeping mat around the 200 euro mark that would serve me throughout the year and fit most of my needs. And after researching for quite some time, I ended up getting, well, what I thought would be exactly the same pad. So first of all, I have some notes here. My previous sleeping mat was Expert Sunmat Winterlight LV, so long and wide version. But turns out that that particular model isn't available anymore. So instead I got what I thought is exactly the same model, at least based on pictures, and that's called Expert Sunmat HL Winter LV. So from Sunmat Winterlight to Sunmat HL Winter. And in every picture the sleeping pad looks the same, but Looking a bit closer at the statistics, I can see that the previous sleeping mat had an R value of 4.9 or 5, depending on the store. And now this new one, Sunmat HL Winter, has R value of 5.2. And also the weight of the mat has gone up from 570 grams to 600 grams. And then I got this new one, and I can already tell that something has changed indeed. This is a lot bigger than my previous pad, although in these pictures it looks exactly the same. So I believe this is the same model, but they've slightly updated it. Maybe they added a bit of insulation or something. Indeed, it says here that pack sack volume is 2.83 liters. I couldn't find any details for the old one, but that's I think somewhere around 2 liters and definitely one third smaller than this. But anyway, I couldn't find any other inflatable sleeping mat that would have the same R value for this money and weigh this little. And although this is kind of an ultralight model by Expert, still the 20 denier material didn't have any punctures or I didn't have any other issues with it throughout my four and a half years of continuous use of the pad. So in that sense, I'm very impressed of the quality of the materials itself. In the end, the construction within the sleeping mat is what failed last time. But I'm really looking forward to now get back out there since I have this new old sleeping mat now with me to see how this holds up in the coming years. Hopefully already next week I can get out and do an overnight trip to a nearby bog and see how this thing holds up and if it really is exactly like my old one. But anyway, just a short update. After a long research, I couldn't find anything better than my old one. So I got it, but turns out it's not the same after all. But now it sounds like I really have to get my skis and go out with the dog. So that's this video. I'll see you all in the next one.